Uh, Hello, welcome to Pop Along RC. I'm Mark. And I am Carl. And today, um, what cars are we talking about today, boss? <sighs> mm. Should we talk about these ones? These ones. The, yeah. I mean, the Corali yeah. cars. The Corali cars. In our Corali tops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we like Corali cars. We are Corali fans. We are Corali. We've liked them a little while, haven't we? We have. I mean, mm. you knew you knew of Corali from way back when. Way we have got back a video. Um, looking at the history of Corali. However, mm. their new era of Corali with their bashers, we started life out with the old Radix 4 over there. Yeah, we did. We really like that car. In actual fact, we saw somebody with one of these, one of our friends, and we said, can we have a little go? And they let us have a go, and we were surpri in a, surprised in a good way. It was amazing. Mm. It um, comfortably outdrives your, um, your oh, other... The Typhon. The Typhon, yeah, that one. Mm. That car... Amazing, and then mm. Corelli got in touch with us, and they sent us out this one. They did. This indeed. is their one eighth Truggy, the Morocco, not to be confused with a Maraca, very different. Um, and this car, the the fun we had last summer with we those two cars did. racing around our pop along grassroots racing tracks. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> the weather was good, and it suited our driving, didn't it? Because. It was dry, the ground was solid, and it was dusty, and it was good fun. It was amazing. And do you know what? We, if you've just watched our video about the MKGP, mm. where Mark paid fifty pounds to compete in that competition, a lot of money. You were there for fourteen hours. Fourteen hours. Fourteen hours. Fourteen hours. How many hours did you get on the track? Uh, it wasn't even an hour. Wasn't even an hour. Wasn't even an hour. How long did you get on the track in your fourteen hours at the uh, event? I don't know, uh, 20 minutes, if that. Shocking, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Whereas when we take these things out, we'll take a bag of batteries mm. and we will probably do a solid hour, sometimes two hours mm. of solid track time. So uh, it's really great for getting to practice in and just having a bit of a laugh, really. Can I just ask you something? Go on then. You know this is their new car? Yeah. Have you been spending the pop-along funds? And I not haven't, telling me? no. I um, did you get that? I made some friends. Really? Yeah, I've been racing in mm. my uh, buggy indoors against uh, a fellow YouTuber. You have. And um, Tom Lee RC. Tom Lee RC. At this. So this is his car? This is Tom Lee RC's car. What a legend. He's he, let us borrow he's, it. He's let us borrow it. He's, he he's it giving through, it yeah. a good old run through. If you haven't seen his video, go watch it because he really does put this thing through its paces and it survives. It didn't did, it? but I said to him, we, we, we enjoy our Corrales and we'd like to see how that gets on against the Troggy because basically mm. we've had a quite, quite a close look at these cars now and it looks like a Radix. But yeah, it's, it's almost, an oversized Radix. But it's almost it? the same size mm. as the Morocco. Yeah. Um, a Suga though. What's ah, a, a, a Suga. Suga. Yeah, Suga. Well, you see... I was thinking about that. I thought that's a weird name, but I've looked at, I've looked on the internet at what a suga means. Do you know what it means? I have no idea. It means swift, like the wind. That's beautiful. I know. Very nice. And I can see why they gave it that name. You know. Awesome. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> back to back to the cars. So here, we're over on this side, mm. these boxes aren't here for no reason at all. The reason they're here is to show you quickly what we've got in. So the Radix has got the 725 motor, whereas the Morocco and the Asuga both have the 825 motor. These two both share the uh, 185 ESCs as well. And looking at it, they've got exactly the same servo. So the electrics in these cars is identical. Ah, so it's actually running the same tech as this car, but it just looks like that one. Yeah. But it's bigger. Hmm. So, okay, so Tom Lee RC's, it would be silly of us to do a video similar to what he's done, wouldn't it? Because we don't really do the whole kind of nailing things over huge jumps and that pop along, really, no. do we? And I think he has earned the crown of the, the unboxing king. Yeah. So, we so there's no, there's no point, point doing an doing unboxing. No, no, no. But what we are good at, mm. we're better than him at, is racing. Ah, <laughs> yeah, racing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He um, beat you though last time, didn't he? <laughs> I was driving and ready to run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, look, so we're going to take it out racing. So we're going to take it out onto one of our pop-along tracks. 
we've got the lap monitor timing system. Yeah. Um, and we're going to set up some races. We're going to do some tests, and we are going to see how this car performs against these cars. And do you know what? I think it's going to be quite interesting, you know. Yeah. If if they're anything to go by, this thing is going to be really nice, I think. But well, I, I say it was, it's going to be really nice. In in most respects, when we've used success in any of our cars, it's just been a little bit too much, hasn't it? For what we do. Great fun. Yeah. Amazing fun. But when it comes to performance and handling mm -hmm. it's very difficult to steer when your front wheels are in the air correct so uh, actually 4s has been the sweet spot for us mm -hmm. so although we would like to get a radix 6 in fact i really like the look of the radix 6 um we've got the radix 4 and this one here again is a 6s car when we first run this on a 6s I think we blew one of the front tyres. Blew the front tyre off, it fell over, or say it fell over, it kind of rolled over and snapped the wing. It did indeed, and that was on a flat field. That was just doing a speed run. Yeah. So um, on a 4S though, these cars are absolutely amazing to, to run and race. They handle nice, you can get them into a power slide or drift and they perform really well. So I'm actually looking forward to the summer this year. We've got a massive long summer predicted by the meteorologists i have heard that is that the right word yeah i think so i've heard that because last year was a dusty old summer wasn't it perfect Brilliant. for these cars and uh, you know this year is going to be no different and uh we've got some more cars coming our way as well haven't we, we but have we'll got talk a about few other one. cars but this one here is what this video is all about really definitely it's we are going to take it out racing we're going to see how it gets on to start with on one of our grassroots tracks and uh, we'll see where the journey takes us. Yeah. He's not in a hurry to get it back. All right. Um, so if we return it at the next YouTube race, which Ooh, is I'm looking scheduled, forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. I'm trying to work out. We've got about eight weeks till that one. I reckon I know who's going to win it. Who? Me. Do you reckon? Yeah. I reckon I'll, I'll, <laughs> I've quite fancied myself in that one. Because you're going to be busy but on your buggies. I'm going to stick to my touring car racing. Oh, yeah. I might be in a good, you, good spot. You might be. You might be, yeah. So you might have forgotten how to drive a touring car. Yeah, good point. So uh, anyway, more about that on the channel soon. Um, should we just go out and get these things on the track? Yeah, come on. And let's stop chit-chatting. Let's go do it. Come on.